We're rolling. Let's go on a tour, honey. Okay. Hello. Welcome to our house. This is the results video for our duplex renovation here in Raytown, Missouri. And it's finally come. We are finally moved in and we're comfortable. And so let's just check it out and show you the work that we've done. We're really proud. So come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Okay. So we'll start here at the front door. This is the front door. It's a split level duplex. And we open up here into our first living room. This is kind of just a reading room for us. Um, we like to keep it pretty quiet and simple and minimal. Um, so if you haven't seen the renovation videos, we have new floors, new trim, new paint throughout, painted the ceilings. We have these nice recessed or rather disc lights. And those are LEDs. Um, I think they're really cool because not only do they have a dimmer and they can get to almost daylight brightness, but they also have like a chill mode. So this is really nice for like early in the morning when we're reading and we don't want bright light yet. But we'll keep it there for now. Um, some nice custom made furniture that Amanda has made for us out of scrap material from the build and Actually, uh, this is like old shelving from the pantry that was here. And then this is like parts of a pallet that our flooring came on, which is kind of innovative for her to use that stuff. Um, yeah, I don't really know how much information I, I want to give. It's mostly about the visuals, but I'm just kind of talking. I think Amanda has done a really good job of decorating this place. Um, all the plants and whatnot are all her doing. Um, and there's definitely an aesthetic here that is really nice. So come on this way. Come on. This is probably the best part of our renovation or where most of the money went. What's going on? OK, cool. So we did a total gut of these cabinets. They were like the original cabinets from the 70s. Um, we demoed those, put new cabinets in. These are just Lowe's project source cabinets. So they're pre-built. So we just bought them in a box and put them in, installed. It was super, I don't want to say super easy, but it was way easier than anything else. And definitely, OK, I don't need this B-roll. Let's focus up here. It's going to be an hour long video. New countertops, granite. We got the two-tone cabinets just because this one cabinet in the corner here is like a $330 piece that we got for, what did we end up paying, like 90 bucks? Yeah, because it was uh, damaged, but it really actually wasn't. Just the box. The, just the box was damaged and it was fine, so we saved a couple hundred bucks there. Um, I'm not gonna do prices here, but just general ballpark, I think we spent, what, three grand, less than four grand on each kitchen. So both sides, each one with the countertop, cabinets, and all that. I think it was like four, four grand or less. We got our floating shelves. All these appliances were here. We bought the microwave and the dishwasher. That's not important. We did the backsplash. So that was all, all us, but we did all of this work ourselves other than the plumbing. We got new plumbing for our um, supply lines underneath the sink because it was a mess. Um, and then of course this is where the carpet was. The tile over carpet was this floor. So we have these nice, fresh, seamless, so no transitions in any of the rooms, which I think is really classy. Um, it made it a little more complicated to install, but it just makes the whole space seem bigger. So, oh, this is the, let's show them the pantry. Oh, yeah. So this is Amanda's pantry deconstruction that we did. We ended up just like cleaning it up and leaving it as is and putting our dining table here. Eventually we were gonna do like a 
a bar here, but this table has actually worked out pretty nicely here and it's much better than the pantry space because we don't have a lot of stuff. I mean, you can see our countertops are pretty sparse, so we don't have a whole lot of stuff that we need to store. We're pretty minimal. So we'd rather have that eat-in space and have all this open room instead of a pantry. I guess we can just go out on the deck. This is kind of a huge upgrade that we did. So if you'll remember, the outside was all, all one deck and also all one yard. And we put the divider up when we moved in. And then we did the dividing fence across the yard just a couple weeks ago. So it kind of obviously brings more privacy, but um, also just makes the backyard a little more practical. Having all that space is kind of um, a little bit intimidating how vast it is. So like sectioning it off makes it feel a little more cozy. Um, just closet, nothing exciting to see there. Closet. So here's the bedroom, and I really think our bedroom vibe is quite nice. It's super simple. We don't have a lot of decorations or anything. It's really neutral and just peaceful and quiet. There's not a lot of stuff. So like energetically, it's, it's very calm. And all we do in here is sleep and fornicate. So pretty single use space. We don't watch TV or play on our phones really in here. It's kind of a sacred space um, and we want to keep it that way. Um, we put these cute little fans in here. Look how small this fan is. It's like the smallest ceiling fan. So before there was nothing. There was no light, no fan whatsoever. It was just this light for the closet, which we have just turned into a red light that we can use like before going to bed, which is really nice. Um, you don't really need to see into our closet. We put the same doors here. We got a new track. Um, you can see how tidy our closet is. We're pretty minimal. Try and keep it neat, clutter free. I can't recommend that lifestyle more. If things stress you out, which you might not realize they do, but they do. Um, the bathroom, this is the primary bathroom and we didn't do a whole lot. We didn't do anything to the tub. So the tub is still original, but here I want to show you this. So in the renovation video, I talked about we had all this subfloor here that was damaged by water and I had to do all that, uh, tearing all that out and replacing this drywall here. Um, we found out the reason was because the shower, whenever water would drip down this wall, it would all run down to this plane here, the top of the tub. And this top of the tub is slanted in a way that all of this water would just dump over this corner here. I don't know if you, can you see that? Mm -hmm. oh, okay and it would just pool up right here, and that was definitely the problem. We found that out the week after we moved in um, when we saw a puddle of water here, and we're like, that's where all the water damage was, so it wasn't fixed, it just kept doing this. We put these dams here. We have like a silicone dam here, and then these corner guards, and so far that's worked out. Brand new toilets. We're the only ones that have shit in here, and that's a really nice peace of mind. We got a bidet. First time ever, so our sphincters are squeaky clean, and that's how I like them. So, new vanity. There's a story behind this vanity. We bought one on sale, and it was extremely damaged, and it was kind of a hassle to return it, because this thing's heavy as shit. Um, so, I don't even know what happened, but we ended up getting some discount even further um, because of the trouble that it cost like we had to get them to come pick it up and then we had to go pick up another one which just took more time but we ended up saving some money there's there. like a 500 hundred dollar vanity that i mm -hmm. ended up getting for 98 dollars all in mm -hmm. and then we got this and some hard work we got um a lot of our um what are these called i mean this is a faucet but i'm talking about fixtures fixtures are yeah. like um, fixtures we replaced throughout the house so we have these nice what is this color delta champagne gold champagne gold um, which really really looks nice with the uh, the black yeah accents. and I got the whole set the faucet the towel rack the towel ring and the all matching 
um, toilet paper holder, I think for a hundred bucks. Yeah, and this is like probably like a four or five hundred dollar kit. So yeah. we got that on Facebook Marketplace. Same with the kitchen faucet. That was like a two or three hundred dollar faucet that we yeah, got like for three or four that I got like, for a hundred. Yeah, something like that. So a lot of savings there. Um, nothing else. We got new fart fans in the in the bathrooms throughout the property. This is Another my fun favorite red light. Oh yeah, we're really big on the red lights for nighttime and not stressing our eyes out in the wee hours of the morning and night. Um, it's good for your circadian rhythm. We're very circadian rhythm oriented here, sleeping with the moon and waking with the sun, if you will. This is my office space. And if you haven't seen the video of me painting this mural, please go check that out. Um, we are not DIY people on this channel. This is my art channel. Um, so come for the DIY, stay for the art. This is where I do all of my video edits. I will be editing this video from this station right here. It's a nice standing desk. Um, not really many renovations in here other than we got the ceil ceiling fan, same thing. Little petite ceiling fan, which is like more than enough for this space. This is where I do my daily drawings. Um, this is kind of just sacred space. This is just for drawing. This is just for video work, editing, and doing business. So I'm not like painting on the same surface that I'm drawing or editing on and all that stuff. So it's really nice to have this room how it's supposed to be. Got the soundproofing, so I do voiceover work. Same with the soundproofing on that wall. Here's where I keep all my to be painted canvas. And I also have my canvas work in there. So it's really nice to have a full closet dedicated to all my um, art materials and tech gear and stuff like that. That's really nice to have all of this here at home. Do some pull-ups. Yeah, fuck yeah, here we go. Oh, baby, yeah. Okay, come on, come on, let's go, come on. We got one more room to show you, and it's the basement. Can we pause with this lovely guy? Yeah, did you show them the painting in the office? They're like a, a family of paintings of these um, little... Yeah, the red and gold one was in there. ...familiar faces. So we got the red and gold one set in the vibe in my office. We have this one set in the vibe in the living room. And then the third one is down here. This is our basement. The second living space. which we're using for kind of a dual studio space. So Amanda has her really quite lovely. Introduce my studio, love. What's going on in here? OK, this is Amanda's, <laughs> Amanda Noel's fiber arts textile laboratory. Is that what it is? Yeah. OK, <laughs> so she's got her sewing machine station over here. There's a serger somewhere. In the midst of all this, she's got her fabric storage system that she built herself out of the same pallet wood that the hardwood floors came on. It was this nice cedar, and she salvaged a lot of that and has just been building her butt off. Um, she found out that she likes just like building shit, so that's kind of cool. Um, so these look pretty nice. Um, and it's kind of set like a theme. We have this like light wood that we have accented throughout the house, and I think it um, is nice and cohesive. Like and that this, was mostly a functional choice. Like so much of this light wood is just scrap. Yeah. So functionality purpose behind that, but it also since we used a lot of the same scrap, it like ties everything to get together like uh, custom furniture, which is really nice. She built this little stand. She built this little autumn in here, which is kind of cool custom piece for our couch. This is like our one lounging spot um in the house but it's really just enough for us and then if we ever have guests we can just bring down the chairs from upstairs um, and make it a little bit bigger to host people um so this is my painting setup studio for for my big paintings on this easel that dale my father built um out of oak and that's really nice so i have my gopro set up so i can do time lapses of both this view of this canvas painting, but then I do smaller works over here. Um, so if you've seen some of my medium canvas paintings, 
This is where I do that. This is like a renovation reveal video, but we're like giving you a tour of our space and like how we use it. It has nothing to do with the renovation, but I think it's kind of interesting yeah, it to does, see how we live. Yeah, we renovated for our own lifestyle. Yes, and this side is different than the other side based on a lot of our custom decisions. And like part of the reason that this house was attractive to us to buy and live in is because we could envision this when we walked through, or I should say Amanda could envision it. I was a little more skeptical than her when we bought the house, when we did the walkthrough, um, but she was like really feeling the vibes and um, she was right, because this place is actually super comfortable for us well, and we I love it. That. What did you say? What? I missed that last part, what did you say? I said you were right? <laughs> is that what you were wanting? Um, but I was right about a lot of things like the lights, the flooring, the trim, what else? The kitchen cabinets, all those things we were like considering not doing and then we ended up doing and those are like the best parts of the renovation. I'm not like bragging, I'm just saying like, yeah, I was it was worth it. And you were more like, we just got to go for it. Yeah, it's just right. like, if we're going to go through all this trouble and spend any money, we might as well spend all of triple money. of that money and all the money that we ever had saved up and just put it all into this project and risk the biscuit. And I think it was the right move because now it's in the past, we're done. The money is spent and it's way more comfortable. This is one of the most comfortable places I've lived. And we're lucky we had it. And we're lucky we had the money in the first place. Like I had my savings. I basically withdrew like half of my Roth IRA. Yeah, Alex had the money, folks. Um, so anyway, I still think it was a good investment. We probably forced a lot of equity into this property. Definitely. Here's the last room, truly. This is um, the bathroom in the basement. Still a bit of a work in progress. Which is a luxury to have two bathrooms. I mean, I've only lived in... Mirror yep. incoming. <laughs> we don't have the mirror yet. <laughs> but we do have a little kitty cat door. Show them the kitty cat door. That's for little Agnes to get through. So her litter box is on the other side of that wall in our utility room, which I guess we don't really need to show them that. Maybe we could peek at the garage, I guess. It's not that exciting. And it's like the one place in the house where there's... Oh, honey buns, will you pull this screen Oh, in? yeah. This is our cinema. So we don't like having a TV with all the cords and stuff. And there really wasn't a good place to put a TV with cords everywhere, especially not here. Like this prevents us, this fireplace prevents us from putting any furniture around here without being a horrible feng shui disaster. Um, so it makes the most sense to put the TV here, but like there's no outlets. There's one on this side, but then you just have like cords stacked in this corner, which ironically we still do. So how did we solve it? So we solved it by putting this projector in. Ciao. And then, and this was another thing that Amanda was skeptical about. She's like, I don't see it. I don't get it. How does that work? And this is just my art projector that I use for like transferring portraits to doing canvas work. Um, and I just set it up here and it works decently well. I mean, it's not the best thing in the world, but it looks super light here because we have these lights on blast, but yeah, once you turn it off, Yeah, we mostly watch in the evening, close blinds, turn lights off. Yeah, I mean, there's only one big window in here, so it's not like a ton of light dumping in, but pretty nice and these are the same lights that are in the upstairs so they have like the dimming effect and all that anyway we painted this fireplace it was just like that standard brick with like the dark brick and the red brick and, and whatever um, we just painted it like this it's a little more modern repurposed shelving from the pantry um, some really pretty wood let's look at the house. stairs show them the stairs so we didn't know what to do with the stairs because if you haven't priced stair treads and doing a finish work on stairs, it's quite expensive. Um, they're like custom cut pieces. Even the vinyl matching um, LVP treads and bull noses that you have to put on stairs are super expensive. It would have cost us like another thousand dollars to do each staircase on both units because previously it was just carpeted over, right? If you saw the um, demo videos all carpeted so we just kind of took a cheaper route and finished the stairs so we kind of did some patchwork um, like filled holes um, and made the wood as nice as possible we put like a patio paint on the risers and just used trim paint I'm sorry trim paint on the risers patio paint on the treads that's what you said whatever 
Um, and then put this carpet runner, which probably cost us, what, two, three hundred bucks? Yeah, I for think the, the first one we actually got half off on like Amazon returns for under a hundred bucks, and then the second one we paid around two hundred. And that's not like the best case for a rental, but it's also not bad because like, even if we have to replace this on the rental side oh, in a yeah. few years, like that's... Problem solving idea came from your mama, Shay Marie. She requested, she recommended yeah, that? Yeah, she's the one that pitched that idea. I don't remember that. Yep. I'm glad you do. Okay, good job, Mama. It turned out, it was a good fix. It was a good compromise. You, me, and Dale were at the bottom of the stairs just like discussing and she came down. She's like, let's do a carpet runner. Yeah. And we were like, oh, fuck. So this is our very um, disorganized garage that still needs work. I want it to be able to be like a functional kind of wood shop um, where like this table can be used if we need to like build anything or even just like constructing canvas or priming canvas, gessoing canvas that I can just have stuff set up out here. So I don't want it to be like 100% storage, but the plan is to build like some shelves over there, get the ladders up off the ground, have somewhere for my bike. Um, this is my paint storage. All of this wall is just paint. So we got the spray paints over there. We got the house paints on the right. We have five gallon buckets. We've got some art inventory up there for all the art that people haven't bought and then like my sprayers and stuff so do you want to do a peek in the laundry utility oh yeah i guess we can room? show them the other side of the cab door this is just a basic utility room it's nothing fancy but it was nice to utilize that space for the cat um, do some christmas storage <laughs> that's our, all of our christmas decorations there's where the cat poops and it goes through that little door and she sprints out of that door. Every time she takes a shit, it's like she's embarrassed. She's like ashamed that she took a shit. So she'll just sprint through the door and run up the stairs and scratch on her post. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. I think she's light and she has a new energy. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Drop the load. She's been unloaded. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll probably be running some still images to show you the other side with no furniture in it so you get an idea of what it looked like unfurnished. Um, I wasn't able to get a video walkthrough of that because we wanted to get the tenants in there really quick and we were just busy continuing this renovation and also sourcing tenants for there. But we got them in and they're lovely and everything's going well so yeah. far. So maybe we'll do an update in the future and tell you kind of more finances about it. Probably not though, knowing me and how on top of the ball I am with these videos. I don't even keep up to date with my art stuff, so this is all extra. So you're welcome for even showing you our house. Be grateful. Okay, see you next time. Oh, God, jerked away. All right, here we are on the rental side. This is the left side of our duplex. We're gonna do some before videos and I just have some after still images to compare. So this isn't gonna be the most sexy reveal video here, but this is what it looks like. That's the main living room. Same lights on that side that we put on our side with the dimmers and all that. That's what the inside of the closets look like. So here we have the kitchen on that side. And if you'll notice the Features that we chose for the rental side and our side are a little different. We had black accents on their side. We used the silver, uh, the stainless look. Um, so we used like doorknobs were silver, fixtures were silver, and everything kind of matched quite nicely. The cabinets were both white on bottom and top, unlike our side. Here's the front bedroom of that side, painted yellow. It's gorgeous and the afters cleaned it up really nice hardwood floors and new trim go a long way here's the main bathroom and not much changed fresh coat of paint uh, the vanity stayed we did do new um, fixtures like the the racks and the lights so this is the primary bedroom remember that headboard back there that I took off Here's what it looks like. Can't even tell it was there. It's a fresh new wall, baby. So that's pretty cool. Going downstairs. Hello, parents. Here's the basement on that side. 
and here's what it looks like after we were done. Speaking of my parents, shout out to my parents for helping with this renovation, especially my dad. He was a pivotal part in our renovation process, and I appreciate all your help, Daddy. Thank you. And that's it. Thanks for watching.